Hey guys, Steve Bentley here. Just wanted to drop some information on you regarding muscle mass. You're gonna be doing some time-restricted eating is what they call it. We call it intermittent fasting, but you're gonna be not eating for about 16 hours and eating for eight. And then occasionally you're gonna be doing a couple of cleansing days, two days in a row of cleansing. And I get a lot of questions about people wondering if they're losing muscle mass. And that's actually, the answer is yes and no. What you're really experiencing is a loss of energy within the muscle mass. When I'm talking energy, I'm not talking about the feeling of energy, I'm actually talking about the energy that's in that muscle and that's glycogen. So as you're fasting and or whether it's a time-restricted eating or whether it's multiple phase of fasting or cleansing, what you're doing is you're actually depleting those glycogen supplies. You wanna think about it as like a gas tank on a car. When you fill up that gas tank, it's like you're putting glycogen into your muscles and your liver. When you burn through the gas tank, right? You burn through the gas, the gas tank's still there. You're not, you haven't lost the gas tank. You've just burned through the muscle glycogen, right? You've burned through the weight of that muscle. So yeah, you're probably gonna drop a couple pounds and that's totally cool because when you start getting that glycogen back into your system through eating carbohydrates, you're gonna refuel those muscles and you're gonna refuel the liver glycogen supplies that you've got in your system. The other thing I want you to think about as well is fasting is so important for recovery and recovery is key. You can train all you want. If you don't recover properly, you're only gonna get so much out of the training that you want. So I always ask people, well, what percentage of benefit do you wanna get out of your training? 50%, 75%, 100%. If you want 100% benefit, you've gotta do three things really, really well. One of them is you gotta hydrate well because those muscles need water in them. They're like 70% water, so they need to have that water and hydration in there. You need good rest and recovery. If you trained all the time, you wouldn't get faster, you would just break your body down. You need to train hard, create that adaptive response potential, and then allow your body to recover. The third thing that's really important is nutrition, those building blocks that your body's looking for. It's protein that you're eating, it's gotta be a high quality as well, and it's not just for your muscles. Protein is needed in every area of your body. You wanna generate red blood cells effectively, you need that protein to go in there and build that, rebuild that hemoglobin molecule. So there's so many great things that you're gonna be doing by getting proper nutrition into your body, and you can emphasize all that by doing fasting, whether it's time restricted or multiple day. And that's not to mention when you do a couple days of fasting, you're gonna jack up your growth hormone rates between 1,000 and 1,500%. Adrenaline rates are gonna go, go up over 100%. And then the benefits of that also, and this is where I say yes and no when you're losing muscle, one of the great things that's happening when you're actually fasting is this process called autophage or autophagy, apoptosis. It's the programmed death of cells in your body and you speed that up by actually doing fasting. And this isn't healthy cells that we're killing off. These are damaged, inefficient, dying cells. Cells that I don't want in my body anyways. I certainly don't want them in my immune cells because I want my immune cells functioning perfectly all the time. I also don't want them in my muscles. Think about an African safari, a plane there, and the, where the lions go, and the lions are hunting, and it's the same for a wolf pack up in Canada, I'm Canadian, um, well, from Canada, I live in Texas now, but the wolves and the lions, they don't go for the healthiest prey that's out there, they go for the weak, old, dying, damaged, slow prey, those are the easiest to get. You wanna think about that autophage thing is like a wolf going after an old deer or an old moose, or a lion going after an old antelope, it's gonna kill off the old, slow, damaged, ineffective cells that are in your body. If I've got muscle cells, and I have a choice between really healthy, fresh, vibrant, strong, powerful cells that are more resistant to injury, or cells that are old and damaged and more likely to get ripped apart and strained and hurt, I want the old stuff gone from my body. I want it to be replaced by new, fresh, healthy cells. And that's what you're doing when you're going through fasting and you're creating, enforcing the issue of this autophage or autophagy. So keep that in mind. If you do feel like you've lost a little bit of muscle mass, chances are it's probably the glycogen in the muscle that's gonna get replaced once you get back eating again. And if you have lost any muscle mass at all and it's through the fasting process, I guarantee you, it's not the healthy, fresh muscle cells that you don't want to lose. It's the old, dying, damaged, inefficient, ineffective muscle cells that you don't want in your body anyways. It's a natural process. You want to do it. It's so important to 
focus on the benefits that you're getting from doing that because they are so vital, not only for your health, but also for your performance. So keep that in mind next time you're going through that process and you're gonna get a lot better results if you think about it that way. Have a great night, bye.